Hey, Falcon fans, this is Stickstar. I wanted to show you a cool patch that I worked up and give you some ideas about how you can spice up those dull analog uh, keys. If you are uh, like me, you love having analog sounds in your work. I do a lot of synth wave and things of that nature. And so getting those warm analog sounds is great. Um, here I've got a very simple patch with some sawtooth, uh, a square sub oscillator, and some noise underneath. Um, it's very simple. Sounds kind of like this. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, it, it's a little bit dry, a little bit boring, and kind of run of the mill. Um, I do have this VCF20 filter, and one of the things I'm doing here is rather than running the low pass at 100%, I'm kind of turning this back a bit. This is just a ghost of the original full bandwidth sound. So I kind of like that. Uh, but that's not really the, the whole spice. Uh, really, one of the tricks here is I've got this resonance noise uh, key group here. Let me show you what this is. It's basically just a noise oscillator by itself. Uh, if I play the, the track back. Kind of just sounds like a drum. But if I turn this effect rack, you'll see the cool things I'm doing here. In this effect rack, I've got essentially a few chains. Uh, the, the first two are these VCF20 dual chains. What I've done is I've tuned these uh, filters at, uh, at uh, the 100% resonance. And then using some of the other settings and 100% key tracking, I can get tonal sounds out of them. Let me show you what this would be like if this was all uh, back at its original setting. So this is uh, what you would get if you just started the filter up uh, from scratch. Very quiet. Okay, and that's because of this uh, very low cutoff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune both of these cutoffs to C5. I'm double clicking and then just typing C5 and that tunes the frequency exactly. Then I'm going to turn the resonance all the way up. Now, be careful doing this. I, I am doing this with a limiter uh, that's already attached on the effects chain after this effect rack. So if you're running anything with very high resonance, always make sure you have a limiter in place because otherwise you could end up damaging your speakers uh, if you are playing at even moderate or uh, not to mention high volumes. Uh, so now let me also turn the key tracking up. And actually, let me leave it off, and you can hear what happens as I turn it on. So all those oscill all those noise oscillators with all those notes are coming in, and they're being uh, they're being uh, adjusted with this basically a very narrow bandpass filter at C5. But if I turn the key tracking up, now you can hear the actual notes being played. And one of the nice things you can do here with the voltage reference is by adjusting this, you can change the amount of grit. So very clear, getting very gritty. I want to keep a little bit of that. It's about there. That's pretty nice. Okay, I've done the same thing on this low one, tuned to C4, an octave below. So that's with both of them engaged. And then I've got a little bit of the dry sound that's just the noise. You won't hear very much of it. Just adds a little texture. Now all together. And again, without that noise. And now with it. Spicy. I like it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to go up here and show you another element that I've added with this effects rack. Um, this effects rack is basically kind of a mellowing effect. Now I'm going to turn this wide off for a minute. Actually, I'll leave that on for a moment, and I'll let you hear like what happens when I turn on this effects rack. There's without. And with. Okay, pretty cool. Let me dive in and show you a little bit of what's here. There's an Ensemble 505 in that effects rack. Of course, I've got a dry with just a gain. Uh, you, you need those with effects racks. 
Uh, if you don't know much about effects racks, check out my other video. I'll put a link up here so that you can check that out and learn about the effects rack. It really is one of the best tools that Falcon has to offer. Um, I've got a, after the dry chain, I've got an ensemble chain. And what I'm doing is I'm using the ensemble 505 and I am adjusting the tone down to mellow out the sound, mixing it at hundred percent. And then you will notice that I've also got this UVI wide. And really what this wide setting is doing is all I'm doing is I'm turning down the width, but it's not on. Um, what I've done is I've connected this in reverse to the macro in the effects rack. So when that macro is on, when this wide is on, uh, the, the UVI wide is going to be turned off. You can see that here. If I open up the ensemble chain, you can see both those units. If I turn off the wide, then that unit comes on and it narrows out the sound. So here's what that sounds like. There's with the wide on. If I turn this off, the wide effect will come on and narrow the sound. See how that narrowed that out? And I'm going to widen it back up. Okay, pretty nice. So uh, with that, I also have one other effects rack here, which is just a simple delay uh, and reverb. Um, I've used this in uh, in my effects rack macro. It's just something that I've got already set up with a preset, so it's very easy for me to throw it in here, and you'll see how that sweetens the sound. I'll turn it on here. Pretty cool. So that will hopefully give you a few ideas of uh, how you can sweeten up a sound. There are all sorts of things you can use uh, resonance on uh, various oscillators. I'm using noise here, uh, but you should try uh, resonating other oscillators and you can get really cool sounds out of them. When you add them to your plain old boring patches, you can get something really cool as a result. So until next time, I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon. This is Stickster, and I'll see you next time.